yet again welcome to my table where I do a puzzle and it's taking forever oh not truly forever I mean currently at week three it's a 3,000 piece puzzle and there are a few different shades of blue but they all kind of like intertwine and I can't see it on the picture what goes where because the picture don't really tell me so I have resorted to the boring, the time-consuming, I'm not sure what else to call it. The one that it feels like it takes forever way of doing it, I'm trying the pieces. All the pieces, all the places. I'm not even looking much at, at them. I just I need to try them on till I find a place where they fit. I need to get a new memory card for my camera because it keeps giving me corrupted files, which is very unfortunate. And I have to cut out things all the time. And it's really annoying. So I just need to like get off my ass and go get it. Um, so there's that. Fingers crossed that today's video won't be corrupted. Judging by what has been happening lately, it will be. I mean, I would say it's enough corruption in the wall if like, my camera is starting too. That's just like not acceptable. Then again, I don't think corruption in general is acceptable, so, you know. Be, have some moral standards, at least in my opinion. Then again, what is moral to some might not be the same to others because people have different values. Um, and uh, people express different values in, uh, let's say, different ways. So there's that, which Sometimes I don't even know why I talk about things, they just come up. I try to avoid looking at the news all the time because, I mean, as I've said before, the world has gone off the rails, gone down into the deep end. Shit has hit the fan. Not like, yeah, the, some places with certain things and people, things have totally shit hit the fan, but at the same time, other places are like just like not necessarily all that good. It hasn't gone that far. At least not everywhere. Thank God. Um, but yeah, I mentioned my car last week that I've gotten a squeaky car, and no, not a toy squeaky car. My actual car that I drive around had started to squeak. Um, oh. I don't know the English word for it, but um, uh, something was wrong that I, ha that I had changed like a few years back, so it should not be squeaky. It's squeaky. Uh, thankfully, they're going to fix it, and as far as I can tell, or as far as they told me, it's going to be free because it's not my fault, and it's not just because I've been doing using my car so hard or whatever I don't even know but it's not my fault it's uh, their thinking is like manufacturing fault or something either way on Monday my car is getting fixed so it won't be more squeaky car and it will probably be free which with that car that is very surprising because that car has been costing me so much money that if I'd saved up, I probably would have been possibly better off buying a different car. But it still works and I mean I have been putting a lot of money into that car so I'm, a part of me is like, well I might as well continue because why not? Uh, it's like when you first start. Um, I'm thinking that something I'm gonna do, not with this boat car because it's already cost me, I have no idea how much money, but 
But my next car, I'm going to consider, I'm not sure how I'll do the math, but like, I'm going to kind of give it up to a certain amount that I will allow myself to fix it for. And after that, it's bye-bye and get get a new car, get a different car, because unless you have a stopping point, you just keep throwing money at it, and at some point it's actually not worth it. At the same time, by then you feel like you put so much money into it, so you can't stop now, because it's like you've gone too far. So, yeah. And it's not like I can fix anything on the car myself, because I don't know anything about cars. I mean, I know how to drive it, and that's about it. That, no, almost. I know how to change the tires if something goes wrong, but, you know, that's, yeah. I know how to drive it, I know how to change my car with tires, and that's about it. And, um, uh, this puzzle is not quite it for me. I mean, I love the picture, it's a beautiful picture, but landscapes is one thing. I mean, the flowers were hard enough. Yeah, this uh, this blue sky is uh, not my favorite when it comes to puzzle. And I think I'm going to repeat my earlier prediction of uh, me probably never ever doing a single color puzzle because I will probably go insane and and in some ways it might be entertaining. I don't think it would be very good for anyone. Then again, it might be entertaining, so who knows, you know. We all like entertainment, at least most of us like entertainment, I think, maybe. Though I don't like all kinds of entertainment. I mean, in my opinion, some is better than other, and my opinion does not does not always align with what my friends, for instance, thinks is good entertainment, so... We can't all agree upon everything. So there is that. And, yeah. Are you enjoying my videos? Are you... <laughs> especially this one. You get to see me do the forever task of trying on a piece. All the places, and then nothing fits, so we'll try on the next piece, and the next piece, and I'm already done with these. I currently have done working on these, and when I'm done with those, I switch back to those, and just like, it goes on and on, until I'm done. And I'm looking forward to that. This is like the, the least favorite part of this puzzle, I think. Um, but, yeah. I really hope all the pieces are here. They should be, but I, I didn't, I mean, I had done the puzzle before. I had not put the pieces in a plastic bag, so I have moved with it a few times. And the pieces have just been lying in the box. So if the box at some point opened a tiny bit and a piece slipped out, I wouldn't know, because I haven't done it in a really long time, which is why I'm doing it now. To make sure all the pieces are here. And then, I will sell it. I hope. And I mean, puzzles are like, not like super expensive, but they do cost a bit. Especially when they get to this size. So I'm hoping to at least get some money in for it. I mean, that would be nice. I can, uh, I can put it in the fund towards either buying new puzzles or, you know, getting a new house. Still haven't found a new house. Haven't gone looking at, on, at? Haven't looked at any more houses either because there hasn't been anyone that caught my fancy that I wanted. I just want a new house and I'm apparently way too specific. At some point, I will find it, and when I do, I will tell you about it, because I'm gonna be very excited, let's be honest. I mean, I'm already excited for the house I'm gonna buy, and I haven't even found one to buy, so, yeah, 
that's, I don't know, maybe I'm too excited. Maybe I need to like slow down or turn down my excitement. So, uh, so maybe that will help me find a house. I don't know. How does this, those things work? I don't know. I thought you were supposed to picture what you want and then go look for it and figure it out and then get it. And I mean, I have been picturing what I want and I have not been finding it, which is very unfortunate. But I have put seeds in the ground where I currently live. I have a planter outside. I can, I can show you if you want to. At the same time, you don't really have a choice. You can skip or cut out the video, but I'm going to film and show you what I want. So, thank you for watching and subscribing and liking my videos. It's It still baffles me a little that someone actually does that. It's like, why? I don't, I don't mean it as a bad thing. It's like... I don't think I understand. Then again, sometimes I follow people online and I don't even know, always understand why I'm following them, except they fascinate me in one way or another. So, there was that. Yeah, I put seeds in the ground. Or, not in the ground. I have a planter. And I have a box with soil in that I put seeds in. And then I keep my fingers crossed that something will actually germinate and grow. And then I will eat some of it. I planted radishes, uh, lettuce, spinach, and beets. So, and I put them in the ground like a week ago and they have not poked their heads up. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to show you because there's just soil at the moment. Nothing has been poking their heads up. Nothing has germinated yet, but it has been cool nights, so there's that. And even though today is pretty warm, the days haven't been, like, that warm. I mean, it's spring, so it's a little all over the place, but it has not been snow. And I don't think it has been frost the last couple of nights, so yay! Here's the planter, and... I thought nothing had come up. Um, look, dizzy, dizzy. It's a radish. It's coming, and spinach is coming. No beets and no rad. Uh, the lettuce, though. But something is coming. Spring has arrived, or. What do you say? Spring has sprung? So, yeah. I do love spring. It's like the time of year where like life is popping out everywhere. And there's sun and it's warm and you can start to grow food and flowers and I'm gonna be outside a lot more from now on because, uh, you know, it's warmer outside. I don't have to put on like what feels like 15 layers of clothes for not freezing. Um, so yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be more outside and I will do my best to bring you along with me. Maybe I should try some new paths that we can experience and discover together and I can guarantee you someone else has been there before me but hey, maybe I haven't. I mean I did go for a walk with you guys, and I actually found found a place that I hadn't found before, that I hadn't seen before, which was really exciting. At least in my opinion. I don't know how you feel about it. You haven't told me, but anyway, I thought it was really exciting finding a new place that, I mean, I sh a part of me is like, how did I not know that was there? And the other part of me is like, well, Simple. I didn't try a new path. I just took the same path that I always take. So sometimes it's good to try new things. And I did a little bit more on the puzzle. And just after I turned my camera off, I found a couple that fitted.
but it's taken a long time, but I mean, I, I will get there. I will get there. It's just give it some time, you know? And I hope you have a good time both watching my video and also the rest of the day or night or morning or whenever you see this. But I'm hoping you have an enjoyable day and I will see you in the next video.